Right, Year 13, it's now the start of the new school year. And actually, the transition from Year 12 to Year 13 isn't often that big a challenge. It's not like when you started sixth form having just been doing your GCSEs beforehand. So as you go into Year 13, it's about a year till your exams. Oh, actually, it's not. It's probably about eight months until your exams start in earnest. So even though you think that Year 13 is a whole year, it's not. You've only got about two thirds of the year, but that's fine because you're now hitting the ground running. One of the big differences I find uh, between year 12 and year 13 is that in year 13, it's pretty much what you did last year, it's just different topics. And actually, if you're doing A-level physics, I find that the year 13 topics are often more interesting. A lot of stuff in year 12 was just kind of what you did at GCSE, just with more maths, but now you've got to start to look at things like electric fields, magnetic fields, you're looking at uh, the kind of nuclear side, maybe a bit of astronomy, all the kind of interesting bits of physics that build upon the work you've done so far. Now, of course, even though you still have eight months, which is plenty of time, you can still get yourself prepared for other things that you're going to be needing throughout the year. Now, I think the thing that you want to make sure is that you keep on top of your admin. Uh, that means all the stuff that you did in year 12, make sure you don't just put it into a massive pile in the corner of your bedroom somewhere. Keep on top of your year 12 notes, but also spend a bit of time now looking at other resources that you're going to be using throughout the year. Now, of course, there's plenty of other amazing websites out there, plenty of other great YouTubers. But I would say, if you want to look at the stuff for year 13, go and have a look at alevelphysicsonline.com and become familiar with the website that I've put together. Now, of course, I've got lots of videos and you see many of these on YouTube already, but I've got hundreds more videos that you can only find on my website. And if you want to access everything, all you need to do is just get yourself a premium plan or make sure that you've got access to a school subscription that your school might currently have. Now that means that you can access the whole website, you can see all the videos whenever you want to, and also find all the pages with extra resources that I've put together. So if you want to kind of get access everything, a premium plan can be really useful. And if you buy it now, it's gonna be much better value than just leaving it until the last couple of months as you're kind of cramming and revising. Also, uh, that premium plan does of course give you access to all of my work solution videos for the exam papers for AQA, OCR, and Edexcel from the last couple of years. And I've actually spent uh, the last few days working through the 2024 papers. So they're going to be coming out onto the website throughout the year. Of course, if you really, really want to get ahead, I do have something now that I've just introduced called the Premium Plus Plan. Now, this means if you've got this, then you can access extra lessons every single week during term time for the rest of the year. I actually did one last night where we were re-looking at Planck's constant and how you can look at that with coloured LEDs or also using a vacuum photo cell. But what I'm going to be doing is every week doing two drop-in classes in the evening at seven o'clock, either a Monday and a Wednesday or a Tuesday and a Thursday. And if you've got a premium plus plan, you get access to those groups where we've got a small group of people doing some work together and I'll be helping guide you through all of year 13. Ideal for anybody doing AQA, Edexcel or OCR exams. Of course, with that premium plus plan, you also get all of my practice papers I've written. You get a digital copy of the daily workout book that can be really useful uh, to give you many more questions to have a go at every single day of the course. And as I make more resources, you get all of that included as part of this plus plan. But of course, um, the main thing you need to do is just stay motivated and think about the bigger goal. What is it that you're doing or wanting to do in the future, if that's an apprenticeship, if it's university, if it's just going straight into work or running your own business, whatever you might be doing, that's the goal that you're aiming for. And A-level physics is one of the things that you need to tick off in order to get to that point. And therefore think about being organized Think about um, motivating yourself to keep going when it's hard and it's boring and it's just like a mountain of work. Really, it comes down to you and the work that you put in throughout the whole year, which means you've got a really firm base as you start to go into the kind of practice paper phase of your revision. So yeah, um, I'd love to hear your comments underneath this. If you've already got the premium plan, if you've got a school subscription, if you're thinking about the premium plus plan, ask all your questions beneath this. I'll do my best to answer them. And yeah, I'll be here all the time uh, with many more videos supporting you in order to get the grades that you're really after.